Three, two. And we're back to another creative leadership. And today we have special guests inside here. I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, first to our now alumnus, Mr. Boodle. Oh, sorry, he's skipping you, but <laughs> Boodle, uh, introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Desmond no Boodle. I'm studying engineering here at the University of Bahamas. I'm on my last term, so Watch. after this term, I'll be an alumni. Freedom. So, yeah, um, I do judo for the school. Winner? He's a winner. Yeah, always. Cool. Uh -huh. And then I also do little videos on the side, social media, like don't, Facebook, don't, don't be little, you're Instagram, working. Stop, be little. stuff like that. How much followers you have? On Instagram, like about 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 100 something, you know. All right. Y'all should follow me at Juroka underscore Mundo. We can put it in the in the little Jack title under the video for y'all to see. For that. And <laughs> next to you now, we have, this guy's been an alumnus before. I was even at the institution. Uh, his story transformed my life. Introduce yourself, sir. Um, uh, my name is Tyrone J. Get Barros. closer, we can't, you know the six you inch, too loud six before. inch rules. <laughs> Six what? Six inches. Like, he needs to come My closer. name is Tyrone J. Burroughs. Too close. You know, I am a too close? Yeah. Not close? Okay. Right. Where do I right. go? Wow. Right there. Right there. Excuse good. me. Boom. It's good? It's fine? Yeah. Perfect? Yeah. Good. All right. Good. My name is TJ Burroughs. I'm a screenwriter and director. I am a former student, of course, a law and criminal justice. What else do we need to know? Professional liar. Sometimes. <laughs> it depends on the day. But, cool. yeah. And my uh -huh. name is Ren, uh, working at the University of the Bahamas, public relations and brand coordinating. So today, let's get at it. So we always like to do this reaction, right? Mm -hmm. We need to really, what, closer? You can't hear <laughs> You say you can't hear me. All right, mm -hmm. so we like to do this reaction. Okay. This man came on campus, and y'all going to understand, he come from COB. The library was where the student union building and mm -hmm. campus life was. We didn't have a gaff. There was no crossing or the guarding you crossing. Inside, Michael uh, Elden was probably just built when you were leaving. Mm -hmm. And chapter one was bigger. It had more books and no clothes. <laughs> so, well, no, they always had there, clothes. There they had the psychedelic <laughs> COB shirts nobody used to buy. Um, <laughs> so how was it walking mm -hmm. on campus after all this time of just passing by? Breathtaking. Um, I actually was surprised. So hold on. Yeah, so time out. He this far away from the mic, y'all get him. But I have to come way up here. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, cool. No, no, continue, yeah, what, Boomer. What, what can I say? Um, uh, so you, you just made your voice deeper? <laughs> Nobody else gets it. He made his voice deeper just now. All right, not go, right, let's go, let's go, let's go. go. Focus, um, you in 10 minutes. It, it was, uh, yeah, it was um, breathtaking. I came, like, with the assumption that, okay, I know exactly where to go. And, I, you know, I take that right turn from, you know, Thompson Boulevard, and I'm like, holy cow, where am I going? I'm going into Big Pond. Y'all need to understand, when you say <laughs> take a right turn, that was supposed to be Tucker Road. Yeah, that Back was. Back in the day, that connected. You yeah, see? it's like when you go to BPL, at the time it's B, you know. No, 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 no. Let's go further back. You all know that that road actually used to curve around. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's Tucker, curve around the two mm -hmm. COB parking lots on the both sides, students park on the side of the road. Then you proceed to Tucker yep. Road. Before uh, they changed the direction of Blue Hill. And this, time it was, <laughs> and this time it wasn't me hopping off a bus to come to campus. So, like, there were so many. It was really nostalgic, but at the same time, it was brand new. And I, I'm like, holy cow, they actually, whoa, this is, wow. And then, you know, just coming in here, the sound, the sounds, we didn't have. <laughs> actually, Pun, Pun commented on the sound system. Yeah, he like said, Walkmans firstly, and stuff, Chad. He was like, like, why do we all have two of these? Secondly, this isn't for this. <laughs> this is for, like, performing arts center, this high tech Yeah, stuff. like, what performing arts yeah. center? We he are, he like broke a, it down, though. He told me that there's supposed like to be a, a space in the yeah. setup for where you rest your sandwich and your notepad. Holy I didn't God. know that, but I, I learned something. Your notepad. Yes, but, like, we had cement. Part. <laughs> and then, yes, but like, you wow. practice dramas in like empty classrooms in the D block, hoping that a class wouldn't be there on the Friday. Right. And then there was this lecturer who didn't like us being there doing the drama, so we got louder mm -hmm. at the time. We were quite radical. Mm -hmm. We had a um, water balloon fight um, this wow. one time. It was very educational. I didn't see that um, coming. I really uh, didn't see water balloon <laughs> fight. Coming. It happened, you know, it did happen. Right, cool. Someone put alcohol in one of the water balloons. I done. I checked. So, yeah, so Moving knows, on. This so. Is, you know, the key part about this But there's a true day, story, though. There's a true story. It was on a Thursday on. between 2 and 4. <laughs> I know that much. Drinking water. <laughs> and the, no, I didn't drink any of it. It was right. SEM. I couldn't. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, you were a part of the student Christian <laughs> the movement. The older one, yeah. yeah. The I don't older, know what it is now. There's yeah. a younger and older student Christian movement. I mean, I would assume so. So, like I said, people in well, how is it being a student, right? And this is something both of you can talk to and kind of help elevate these hairs in the room. How is it being a student pursuing a major Mm -hmm. But then finding your passion 
in another area or something that people sometimes deem as non profitable? How mm-hmm. is that? Um, I being a gentleman, oh, yes. Yeah, so you, like, you, oh, you, you, yeah, okay, you, okay. yeah. Talk um, about the beginning, mm-hmm. like when you first did it and how people react, uh-huh. like stuff like that. How was that? Okay, um, well, what I like to do videos and short clips like that, mm-hmm. totally different from major engineering. So I guess most people don't expect like an engineer to do stuff like that. But I think it's okay to have different hobbies, different stuff to do on the side. Mm-hmm. You can always have to stick to the main thing. You could have other stuff to do on the side. So... I do it because I enjoy doing it, and it's fun, and I like making people laugh. I like entertaining people. So, yeah. 3,000 followers. Oh. That's, that's a great number in this generation. <laughs> um, how many attentive to the videos? Like, how much likes you had? Um, I say on a regular, we get, like, 100 to 200. That's good. Between that's good. There, that's good. Mm-hmm, regular. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got like 30 on Mango page. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and Tyrone, now, definitely, uh, I talk about your story a lot of times on stages. Uh because it was confusing. The Thanks, guy graduated with law and crime, mm-hmm. uh, sat in the law office and said, but I quit, boy. <laughs> Just see making sense. And then that started the movement. So yeah. where did that come from? When did you actually start being a creative, I'd say, and really going with that? Like, mm-hmm. as a plan A, there's no plan B. Mm-hmm. Where did that come from? Like, when I tell everybody, I actually came to COB to <laughs> join the drama team, and law and crime was my extracurricular activity. So I basically got... <laughs> Say it again. They ain't catch that. Say it again. Y'all miss it. Law and Crim is actually again. my extracurricular activity wow. and wow. the drama and the arts with, you know, with the different teams and the COBSM at the time was what I really, really wanted to do. And what I did was I kept my grades up so my parents wouldn't, you know... I mean, I was paying... The, anyway, don't worry about that. <laughs> the bottom line... <laughs> the bottom line is I knew I needed something to actually justify why I was out until like 12 o'clock in the night sometimes. And then, you know, you bring home um, your transcript and it's like, you can't say anything. Well, you could say something, but He's not that for much. Jesus. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, working yeah. Working the streets for Jesus. I, yeah, I'd Amen. say that, right? Um, and I call it like a different form back in, the, uh, back in the day, but that's a whole other topic for another day. But um, I met, it's like I came to uh, UB, it was just like a networking exercise, mm-hmm. you know, because most of the founding members of Collage and the Damon were, you know, from within that same era, so. And this, the, um, the his name, sorry, the the dean now, sorry, was actually the one that spoke to our graduation, and then who was that? Our current dean of students? Yes, right now, Wait, I think. Joe? I believe so. Joe spoke to the, no president. <laughs> sorry, oh, Rodney, holy cow, Dr. the president. Rodney yes, Smith. yes, yes, that was he our apologized. graduation. Yes, <laughs> he apologized. Yes, he apologized loudly. I apologize. Yeah. That's the camera there, right? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you know, he was the one that spoke to um, our graduation. That actually changed my direction as well that's good you know and then you know there was some other stuff that happened and yeah, yeah. so we, we could kind of wrap up with a good point which yeah. i think is an angle from an mm-hmm. alumnus point of view or alumni point of view we could yeah. look at which is um how do you feel about the future of the university um we're talking about a a conference center being built something that could host um athletic events yeah. host seating do conferences bring in speakers we're talking about the dormitory that's going to be built hosting 2,000 students. We're looking more at oh, international. Wow. Wow. Um, and finally, we have the development of now example. the Grand Bahama campus. I just uh-huh. came back from there. Yeah. They have a, a facility that's very good. Um, some of the rooms have, like, it could host three people, very comfortable. I love pictures, like, flashing in the video mm-hmm. at this mm-hmm. point. <laughs> but it's like um, seeing all of that with what the university is bringing to the, to, you know, to the sport, like, right now. And as an alumni, I know I definitely didn't see this. Coming at the speed it came at, Dude. to this day I'm always shocked at when I was called to even design the mascot. Cause back in our day we ain't had no mascot. We had uh-huh. people. No, Did we, we didn't have a mascot. Nobody knew that. We had a color. I think the shirt. The, the color. Mascot. You mean the pink buildings? That have something to do with government. Government I always trying to reduce the cost of pink. Right. Okay. So they make us pink. Too. I noticed everything uniform because you know, my school was purple and gray at the time, and yeah, uh, so it was just like green and yellow after that. Things are tough. Everything but was green and yellow. <laughs> talking about the future, yeah. like how how excited are you all about the future of the university, its developments, its its growth, its path? Mm-hmm. Let's uh-huh. talk about that on a leaving note. Oh well. I'm sad to hear that all that is coming into place after I'm leaving. You know what I mean? You know this I mean? man had a cow. <laughs> he have a whole, like, stop, let my people pass but, sign. They have a bigger library, and he graduated on time. But we don't have that. 
athletic. For engineering, wow, yeah, wow. Buddy. For engineering, when you got to be a rough time. engineering, but, y'all, y'all but still, know. all those stuff you were talking about, the song better. I play like it would be a nice stuff. Those dude, we had like wood blocks and like rocks. <laughs> we used How to sit was square, wait, but where the library is now used to be a tree. We used to sit under the tree to talk like library. these philosophers. Sometimes it didn't have like that a was lecture parking for room. semesters. You had to wait all the other semester for lecture. But uh, yeah, we had people was, like G O M, like rough, different yeah. majors, different people. You just uh-huh. used to sit under there and share your thoughts, bro. And literally used to eat McDonald's there because we didn't. No, <laughs> no, no, they professional now. Okay, they have a whole right, area right, for them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 just right. everything. It's okay, they expand. All right, they have mm-hmm. music playing, but because you don't want to get rid of everything they outside the state. You, you know what I mean? Thirsty, something. If mid game you go to slime and you a little dry, yeah. you could go right inside and get some vitamin water. Some of them there used to be the class. All right, so let's end it up. Let's wrap mm-hmm. it up. Yeah. Um. So how do you feel about the future? Um. Finish up your points yeah. and then mm-hmm. tie in it, and that's our show for the day. Well, I, even though I won't get the experience, I still think it's exciting because it's going to help you be continue to produce great students, great people, more importantly, great athletes, go Mingos. So, Just got go Mingos. Uh-huh. So, yeah. <laughs> Who taught you that? Go Mingos. Oh, Propaganda. Guy. That's it. This message yeah. is brought to you by you be Mingo. No. <laughs> what about you, Ty? I mean, just looking at everybody in here, you know, in this room right now, that's like really, really encouraging. We didn't have it. See you all utilizing it. I'm like, okay, they doing something right. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Mm-hmm. You know, That's so crazy. whatever I've done, I sure like you all do like a million times better. So, but I want to thank both of you for um, yeah. definitely coming in today, mm-hmm. spending time. It means a lot. Uh, Ty, we have to continue working, so I got to go back to the office. But mm-hmm. this has been another episode of Creative Leadership. Uh, let's continue to grow. Yep. Thank you, Mandan. That's good. Yeah, you can stop that. Hey.